Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS North Tournament. Today we've got the Duquesne Dukes traveling to North Dakota State to take on the Bison in the Fargo Dome. First play of this video, we got Sullivan rolling to the right and finding his halfback Wade out of the backfield up to the 32-yard line. Now how did Duquesne get to this game? They took on Bucknell in the first round and beat them 35-28. Round two, they absolutely destroyed Colgate, 63 to 17. And how did North Dakota State end up in this game? They only took on North Dakota in the tournament so far, winning 28 to 27. And they did not have a second round matchup; they had a bye. So this should be an interesting game. I'm looking for a close one. As Duquesne is on top, seven nothing. As we see North Dakota State on offense now, and Veach is dropped for a loss. That was a big time sack by the defensive lineman. I believe that was the right end. You can hear the boo birds out there. Duquesne kicking a field goal here. Kick is up and it is good. They are now on top 10 to nothing. In a game that is moving really quickly actually. We're now in the second quarter. And North Dakota State has gone to their third string quarterback. And he's got a big time pass to right. And he's going to outrun the defender for the touchdown. But there is a flag, and it is holding on the Bison. That'll take them back to their own 19-yard line, negating a huge touchdown pass. And what a throw it was. First pass of the game for third-string quarterback, Weddle. And that stalls out the drive. Duquesne back on offense, and they throw a pick to Vincent. Tipped it to himself. What a great play by the middle linebacker. And that'll start the offense on great field position at the 46-yard line. And here's Weddle going over the middle, and that is caught by Hall inside the five-yard line, setting up a first and goal for the Bison. Another great throw by Weddle. Even better catch by Hall. Third and goal now. Weddle rolling right side. Over the middle, touchdown, Bison. Hall over the middle, wide open on a comeback. Just kind of broke off his route there. Bison finally on the board, 10-7. But Duquesne still has some time here. Sullivan is dropped for a huge loss, though. Sacked by Young, the right end, for a loss of 11. Second and 21. Here's Sullivan pitching it out to Wade. And he's got the edge, and he breaks a tackle and picks up 16 yards. Nice run for the halfback. The drive stalls out, and here's Lovelady, the big fullback for the Bison, picking up 11 yards on the left side. It's the Bison's third first down of the game. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Weddle throwing it to Hall. He's got the first down and more up to the 32-yard line. The fans like that one. Weddle again rolling right. And he's got Hall wide open at the 5-yard line. And he gets it down to the 3, setting up another first and goal. He is 5 of 6 for 73 yards and a touchdown. And he also had a 60-yard touchdown negated. And he has got a touchdown here. Moore was wide open in the back corner. Looked like one defender was covering two players at once. And that's not a matchup you want for any of your players. As Sullivan is sacked again. This time a loss of 12 by the Bison. That is Johnson's first of the game. That ends the first half. Now into the second half. Sullivan rolling right side. Throwing deep. And he's got Patterson at the 40-yard line. Fitted into a tight window there. Third and 12 now for Sullivan. And throws it left side. Caught by Patterson. The defender dove and missed. And Patterson is gone. Not a safety in sight. Easy touchdown pass for the Dukes. 42 yarder back on offense. The Bison go three and out. Here is Wade on a counter. He's got space in front of him. It's a foot race. And he is going to win it by a mile. High stepping into the end zone for the touchdown. For the Duquesne Dukes, 65 yards, and they are now on top 24 to 14. The Bison struggle to get anything going on offense. Here's Weddle, pitches it, and it is fumbled and recovered by Duquesne. Moore dives on it. It was a fullback option. Lovelady just mishandled it. Now the Duquesne Dukes on a halfback option. Jones is going to coast into the end zone, diving to the pylon for the touchdown. And this is now a 17 point ball game, just like that. And it was just 17 to 14. The ensuing kickoff is deep. 
to about the seven yard line as Hall gets the return. And he's going to go left side. He's got a blocker, just a kicker to beat, and he gets past him. The referee actually blocks the man for him, and that is a touchdown for North Dakota State. And what an answer. They needed that big time. 31-21 now. And Sullivan hits Wade, who breaks the tackle. One man to beat, and he might go all the way, and he will. Another touchdown for the Duquesne Dukes, and that is disrespectful as he urinates on the goalpost. What a play by the halfback. Getting the pass out of the backfield, breaking a tackle from a linebacker, and outracing everybody for the huge touchdown to make it a 17-point game once again. 38-21, here's Weddle on the option. Left side, he'll pitch it out to right, and he'll get it up to the 48-yard line. His best run of the day. The winner of this matchup will most likely be one of the final seven teams in the tournament to advance to the dynasty as Bean gets a touchdown here on a counter play, the backup halfback. Duquesne on offense, Sullivan pump fakes, rolls out and he is hit. That was a big hit and a loss of 10 on the sack. Sullivan play action, chucking it up deep, and that is somehow caught by Patterson, and he is going to outrun everybody. What an unbelievable play. Just a ridiculous play. I feel bad for North Dakota State after that one. It looked like the safety actually got his hands on it and tipped it right back to Patterson. And we'll get a better angle on the next replay here in a second as he just outruns everybody. Here it is, and he did in fact hit it right into his hands, and he's not going to catch him on any day. 45-28, the Bison needs some big plays. They go deep, and it's tipped, and it is caught by Manning at the 45-yard line. Defender's giving chase, and he's going to outrun all of them. What a crazy play. An immaculate reception for a huge touchdown. To bring this game back within 10 points, unbelievable play. The Dukes back on offense, three and a half minutes to go. Sullivan rolling out left side, chucking it up. He's got ball wide open. He's got it for the first down up to the 35 yard line. And that's four consecutive completions for Sullivan. It's actually a pretty good uh, spiral on that one. Haven't seen many of those in this tournament. The Dukes throwing a screen pass. It's picked off by Vincent, and he might take it to the house. Patterson is giving chase to no avail. He is not going to catch him. Touchdown, Bison. And what a turn of events. It is, it is now <laughs> a three-point ball game, 45-42, to 42, after an unbelievable pick six on a screen pass. Under two minutes to go. Sullivan rolling right. Throwing it deep, and Patterson stops on the route, and it is picked off by Vincent once again. Bison now with a chance to tie it up with a field goal, and they're on their own 49-yard line right now. So great field position as Weddle looks to throw. Rolling out right side. Wants Hall over the middle, and it is picked off by Young with 121 to go. But the Bison do have three timeouts left as Duquesne is celebrating a little too early here. Spence on third and five is stuffed for a loss of five. And the Bison called their final timeout. They have a minute to go as they hand it off to the fullback up the middle for eight yards. Under a minute now. I believe they don't have any timeouts left. Second and two. Fullback dive again and he gets the first down. That'll stop the clock. Still going no huddle here. Option to the left. Weddle past midfield. Past the 40. Nice juke move. Juking again past the 30 and out of bounds at the 25-yard line. What a run. But there was a clipping call, and that'll back them up to Duquesne's 46-yard line with 31 seconds to go. Play action from Weddle. Rolling out right side. Man wide open. What a throw to Salyer. Inside the 10-5, down to the 2-yard line with 21 seconds left in the game. Crazy play there. He somehow got wide open on a post route. They're going no huddle. First and go on the two-yard line. Play action. Weddle man wide open, and Lovelady cannot get it. 
Second and goal, play action again. Weddle to the right, and Wright's got it for the touchdown. Bison now on top, 49 to 45 with just 11 seconds left in the game. Unbelievable comeback. It looked like they were gonna get destroyed a couple times in this game. And one second left in the game. Hail Mary caught by Patterson, pitches it back, broken tackle, and he can't pitch it again. So North Dakota State will advance to the final four of the FCS North Tournament. What a game. And this was a blast to play. I loved commentating on it. And it came down to the last play. Very exciting catch, a pitch, and a broken tackle. Just one more pitch, and they might have sprung it free for the touchdown. But the Bison do advance. And they will most likely be one of the top seven teams to advance into the FCS dynasty. What a game. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys thought of this one. Just action packed. Just adrenaline everywhere. My goodness. Duquesne, they put up a heck of a fight here. They were 2-0 into the tournament until this game. Coming off a 63-17 victory, but today they did not do enough to come away with a win, even though they had over 150 more yards than North Dakota State. I know this video was supposed to be out on uh, Wednesday. It is Thursday now. It's all right. I was busy. I'll have the next one out Friday. But until then, I'll see you guys in the comments section below. Take it easy, guys.